Encryption requires two parties to share a secret random number known as a key. But how can two people who've never met agree on this number without letting anyone else know? In the mid-1970s, three research scientists, Whitfield Diffie, Martin Hellman and Ralph Merkel, devised a brilliant method to do this, using a numerical procedure. So, how is it done? For this example, we'll use prime numbers with values under 30. First, Ada and Bill agree on two numbers in public, in this case 11 and 29, which anyone can listen in on. Then Ada selects a private random number, say 3, and Bill selects his private number, say 5. Ada then uses modular arithmetic to calculate 11 to the power of 3 mod 29. Modular arithmetic finds the remainder of the number to the left of the word mod when divided by the number to the right of it. So, 10 mod 3 is 1, as 10 divided by 3 leaves a remainder of 1. Now, 11 to the power of 3 is 1331. To calculate the remainder, divide this by 29 and disregard the decimal place to get 45. Then multiply this whole number by 29, giving 1305, and subtract this result from your first value. This gives Ada 26. While Ada's doing this, Bill calculates 11 to the power of 5 mod 29. 11 to the power of 5 is 161,051. Bill calculates the remainder by finding the whole number through dividing this by 29. He then multiplies this whole number, 5,553, by 29 to get 161,037 and subtracts this from his first value to get 14. Then, Ada and Bill publicly exchange their numbers. Now, this is where the important stuff happens. Ada takes Bill's public result and raises it to the power of her private number to obtain their shared secret number, which in this case is 18. Then Bill takes Ada's public result and raises it to the power of his private number, which results in the same shared secret. So they both use the algorithm to calculate the same shared private number. Without one of these private numbers, 3 or 5, someone listening in will have great difficulty finding the solution. <laughs>